Hi, I'm William. This is the wine room at Putnam Market in upstate New York. And here we have two glasses and a bottle of champagne which is chilled and open. You may think, well, what's missing? And I'll leave that to you to answer. But here, what we're going to do is we're going to see which is the better glass to serve your sparkling wine or champagne from. I mean, this would be the, the obvious choice, the, the flute. And uh, the much maligned choice would, of course, be the old-fashioned coupe style of um, a champagne glass. But what I've got here is just a regular wine glass. And if we were to put the wine into each of these glasses, and as I said previously, tipping it up is a smart way to do it, two things will become apparent. The first is the surface area of the wine. So the surface area here is, um, is just that disc on the top of the glass. And here we've got a much, much bigger disc. And what that means is that here in the flute, we've got really concentrated, escaped carbon dioxide right in the nose, right in the top of the glass where you smell it. And what that carbon dioxide will do is it will mask, it will hide the aroma of the wine. It won't smell as enticing or as fruity as in a glass like this. And so, even though you might have thought this was your perfect glass for sparkling wine, I'd argue it's actually going to look more like this.